Good morning, everyone. The intentions for today in thanksgiving for the blessings received through the intercession of Our Lady and St. Joseph, for Dominic and Julie Sylvester and family, for healing for Karen McCune and Olivia Pentolf, for those commended to our prayers, especially the sick and the dying around the world and particularly in India, for the eternal repose of the souls of Dorothy Campbell, Cliff Ambito Perlas, a Carmelite Sister Mary Bernard of the Sacred Passion, Carmelite Sister Anne of the Mother of God, and Monsignor Cristobal Garcia, and those who died recently, for the souls in purgatory and for peace in the world. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, for the Lord our God, all the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the, crowds of Phil the crowd of Philippians joined in attacking Paul and Silas, and the magistrates tore the garments off them and gave orders to beat them with rods. And when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Having received this charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer woke and saw that the prison doors were open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried with a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. And he called for lights and rushed in, and trembling with fear, 
he fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Men, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds. And he was baptized at once with all his family. Then he brought them up into his house and set food before them. And he rejoiced with all his household that he had believed in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With your right hand, you save me, O Lord. With your right hand, you save me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I praise you. I bow down toward your holy temple. I give thanks to your name for your merciful love and your faithfulness. You have exalted your name and your promise over all. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased the strength of my soul. In your name, you save me, O oh Lord. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will accomplish this for me. O oh Lord, your merciful love is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. In your right hand, you save me, O oh Lord. Alleluia. I will send the spirit of truth to you, says the Lord. He will guide you into all the truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness, because I go to the Father and you will see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> <clears throat> so around the Last Supper table, the talk moves to the departure of Jesus. He is preparing them for his ascension, for the coming of the Spirit, the release of the Spirit. But talk about his leaving them obviously fills them with sadness and anxiety, which he can understand. And so he tries to explain to them. And sometimes the explanation uh, is not easy to follow because the whole, whole mystery of Christ, of his works and sufferings and what was in store for him the next day is all very difficult to understand and to get one's head around. And when he says that the Spirit who comes, the Counselor, 
will convince the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment, uh, it can be a bit difficult to understand. I think the translation is a little bit awkward. Other translations say he will denounce the errors of the world about sin, righteousness and judgment. He will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin, righteousness and judgment. In other words, he will expose the truth about sin, righteousness and judgment. And the truth, as Jesus hints at, is the fact that the world has rejected him. This is the real sin. This is the sin that the Spirit will reveal the real seriousness of rejecting Jesus. And <clears throat> the Spirit will help us to understand what the difference between true and false righteousness is. And the real unrighteousness was the spurning of Jesus' claims about the Father. And the Spirit will also distinguish between true and false judgments. And the false judgment of the world was that they would get rid of this troublesome Messiah. But in fact, Jesus will not remain dead. He will rise in glory. And indeed, his very death will be seen as a glory, drawing all people to himself. So in the place of sin, the Spirit brings grace. In the place of rejection, the Spirit brings acceptance. And in the place of false judgment, the Spirit brings truth and peace. So here, we too should be happy at the ascension of the Lord. For this implies the release of the Spirit and the insight the Spirit brings into the meaning of holiness, of righteousness, and of judgment. The Spirit will reveal that in Jesus we can become partakers of the divine nature. No wonder we should be glad that the Lord is able in leaving us in a physical way to be with us in a spirit way, in a way that makes him present really, truly and substantially in one another, in the Eucharist, with us always to the end of the age. Amen. <clears throat> A 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that we the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence <clears throat> and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh, sorry. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. <clears throat> Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. And. The body of Christ. <coughs> the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of
the Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. <clears throat> Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen.